definitely one of my favorite little critters out here in the African bush, the side-striped jackal. And this is the pair that's been well, sort of set up shop along the, so, uh, uh, the seep line from Impala Plains all the way through to Sydney's waterhole. Now, one of the reasons side-striped jackal in particular are so fond of this area is the amount of gory bushes. And some of them are still in fruit, very late fruiting this year. So they take advantage of that. So they are very much omnivores. And in certain parts of Africa, even 60% of their diet is made up of fruit rather than meat. Look at that. I had a busy night foraging. Now it's time to call into a warm little ball. Sorry, I thought I heard something in the distance, but I think it's a car. Oh, look at that. Now you can see how well that, their camouflage works. And I mean, they're very vigilant little animals. But when they keep still and curled in a ball like that, they're very difficult to see. Now I'm just going to move forward a little bit. And let's see, I think there might be some. Oh, it's all finished now. And literally, in a normal year, the whole floor around these bushes will be littered with, with little little fruits, but I've seen these jackal eating up, and they, the fruits are tiny, I mean, they're just a little speck, but they eat them a lot, and you, you, when you look at side-striped jackal's dung, you find a lot of fruit in it. In this area, mostly gory fruit, and of course, fruit of the African ebony, or jackalberry. So I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to the jackals. Here we go. Hello, little one. 